at this point of the video you should know how to start your code void parentheses and then we'll understand an integer now an integer is used for whole numbers I'm going to make this variable and in the last video we discussed about variables so please check that out if you, before you watch this one now let's slide a whole number and then we are going to print this whole number let's use the type specifier and we are going to say whole num now return zero let's use the shortcut key I will, I will make it so you can see the shortcut key on the screen now if you run this see we have our integer printed here. Now you can also use float. And float is used for decimal, like 12 point Lee. Link F. We are, we, are, we are going to use comments to make our code look cleaner. This is Alright, I'm just going to like it. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's print it. And the type specifier for the floating point number is F. And let's say 12. Let's print the variable here. So decimal. Right. Now this should work. Yeah. Now you see this is a pretty big number. And if you want to make this number small, what we'll do? First, I'm going to add a new line here. And then, if you, <coughs> let's round this up. So what we are going to do is, point two. Now, this should be, yeah, there you go, 12.30. Or you can say at least. Now, it's going to show three digits after the point. There you go. Now you can use double and double I use for bigger decimal numbers like this. Why? Because it have more bits in it. It have more space in it. Now if you print this, so now you can say that we are going to use long float. So since it can store more memory in it, we could say that LF, which means long float. If you learn this, let's tell the computer first on what variable it is. Bigger 
出してもらおうでなんです Let's add a new line here I keep forgetting Yeah, so now you have your long sword You can make this round it up by doing the same method we did Plunge Clean Now if you add a space in here it should be see now let's understand char now char can only store one digit or one letter like glad all right if we print this a and then print f for char we use c and now if we print the variable here Variable name was great. Like this, if we print this new line, first let's now we did a mistake in here, and what we did was we used double quotes, we had to use single quotes. If you learn this, it should be working. A, you got it. Now, that's all I'm going to explain for this video. Until next time.